Stop the music! Shut this party down right now! Appreciate it. I was gonna say, I think this confetti is taking up a little bit more of my oxygen. What the hell are you doing? This is supposed to be a surprise for you. You're supposed to pull that lever once we reach the moon, not before. I'm sorry? I put a lot of goddamn work into that, and now you've gone and ruined it. Congratulations, Meanie. Are you crying? I'm not crying. <laughs> You're crying. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. What's taking you so long? Find a tool or something. Fix my elevator now. You already said that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to an elevator to the moon and for today's episode we are finally going to space I think I'm, I'm not entirely sure right the whole moon part of elevator to the moon hasn't panned out yet And I can't think of anywhere else that you would run into an asteroid Unless you're a dinosaur I guess <laughs> Listen it is really early in the morning so just be ready for some awful jokes That didn't sound good. Once inside the now dormant asteroid, we will begin the docking procedure. Is that you? No, you're sleeping. Sound from the motor. Oh, oh, no right. No, 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 that is a matter. That's, that's definitely a matter. Okay, hold on. I might be able to fix this, right? I have a welder. I see the problem. I can't see the problem. I'm blind. And I'm on fire. Hey, dum dums. I'm back. Hey, wait. What's going on in there? Hefty boy started a fire. Ah, no! What have you done? You broke it! It's fine. Ah, put out that fire right now! With what? What do you want me to do? Take a leak on it? I took one before I started. Do you have any idea how hard it is to take all this crap off mid-recording? I think Hefty boy might have also burned the mini bar menu, sir. We, we should really get him under control. He's just running wild here. There's a guy. Oh, fire extinguisher! Right, right, fire extinguisher. With what? Camping, dum -dum. You're in space. Now put that fire out. I don't. What? You're, you need to be more specific. Okay, help me. Help me. What do I do? I know I've been blaming you for a lot of stuff, okay? But we're supposed to be friends now. Help me. Oh, auxiliary power mode on. Please use fingerprint reader to gain access. Okay, well, you don't have fingerprints, so you can go back to being useless. I'm just gonna. Access something like that. Access, access granted. Okay. Oh, you this for me. That's so nice of you. Now put out that fire right now. Working on it. Working on it. We have a, a plunger and oh, I could probably use this, right? This looks like a, a glass breaker. Yeah, there we go. Now be quick about it. Put this damn fire out. You could use the magic word. I'm waiting. Even if you're burning to death and all of your oxygen is being consumed in space, there's still plenty of room for manners, Mr. President. I also have a gigantic drill, and that's it. So we got a plunger, a drill, and a glass breaker, and now a fire extinguisher. Let's just... Here we go. Good? Ah, you break it? Now the starter mode has fallen from the ceiling. Now what are we gonna do, dum-dum? How would this be a starter motor? It stopped us from moving. That doesn't make any sense. Wait a second. Did that thing just take my fingerprint and say access granted to Rockmire? I think you were Rockmire. Am I Rockmire? Empty boy, who's Rockmire? I'm so confused right now and I have an engine lying on the floor. I've spent so much time yelling at the disembodied voice that I didn't realize that we definitely made it to space. Okay, that's a whole lot of three-dimensional space to be stuck in an elevator with no engine. Um, you got anything? Like, anything at all? Come on, what's taking you so long? Find a tool or something. Fix my elevator now. What do you mean a tool or something? I gotta, I gotta drill in a plunger. That's not exactly good mechanic here. Can I just pick this up? Cyborg or something? Of course you can't lift it. It's too heavy. You didn't just drop a Terminator reference on me. So all of my tools seem to be completely useless, and you're useless, and you're useless, and I don't even know where this guy went and screwed off to, so I think I'm dead? Am I just dead? Do not pull till on the moon. 
you know what? I may never make it to the moon. So if I'm gonna die, you best bet I'm gonna pull the thing that says do not pull. Maybe it has rescue? Okay. Is this the rescue song? Are we celebrating rescue? What's happening right now? Oh my god. You have got to be kidding me. I'm prematurely celebrating. I'm gonna die. I don't know what you're celebrating for, dum-dum. You're gonna die with me. Oh, this would have been lovely if we ever made it. Oh well. I get that feeling this is... Shut this party down right now! Appreciate it. I was gonna say, I think this confetti has taken up a little bit more of my oxygen. What the hell are you doing? This is supposed to be a surprise for you. You're supposed to pull that lever once we reach the moon, not before. I'm sorry? I put a lot of goddamn work into that, and now you've gone and ruined it. Congratulations, Meanie. Are you crying? <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> You're crying. <laughs> oh my god. Man, what's taking you so long? Find a tool or something. Fix my elevator now. You already said that. I don't know what that means. So all this does is open that. We already have all the tools from up there. This is just a boom box. We have the mask. We have the welder. Pizza in the fridge. Can I use pizza to fix the motor? Probably not. The mini bar. We still have, you know, fat dollar come bills. On, come on. Listen. I love this game. It's just so freaking funny, man. I can't handle it. I'm just gonna use up all of my oxygen enjoying myself, okay? This is the end. We all know that this is the end. I'm not getting out of this. I'm gonna have to start a fire. Even more oxygen consumed. I can get in there, can't I? I need... Oh no, the key card's gone. That's not good. Um... Oh... That looks useful, but the battery's empty. You need to recharge it. Give it power. How am I going to give it power? Uh, you need to charge it in a hefty charging station, dum dum. Thank you for you actually being useful. Way to get this motor. <laughs> Good. There we go. I hit the super turbo hyper charge button. And this you want to wait for 3 hours for it to charge, dummy. You know where that button is? Have you been super hyper turbo charging yourself this whole time? Super hyper turbo charge. Oh, it should be uh this one. Right? Okay, Just... great. Hey. Good stuff. Okay, so let's put that back there. So what do these other buttons do? We never did find out. This one would be... Oh, that's the death laser. Ooh. Um... Should I shoot at that? Would that be... that? Would that be bad? Hold on a second. I think this thing might need just a little bit more charging. So what if I... Uh... <laughs> this might be a mistake, but I don't care. <laughs> I think I just blew up Netflix. No, don't shoot. This is the last satellite in the world. What do you mean it's the last satellite? Uh, oh, you know what? I'm taking it down. Screw it. Maybe I can't take it down. Maybe it's really, really strong. I just kind of tickled it the first time. I told you not to shoot. And? Yeah, it's a tough old bird, and I can't imagine I would be able to reach that space station. Nothing else of interest around. Okay, well, that was pretty cool. This would just pop you back up. Um, is this a fan? Ah, uh, sounds like something got caught in the vent. You need to find something to suck that out. Suck that out, huh? Um, okay, that's interesting. Something useful might be up there. I need something to suck, though. Uh, are, are you- oh, 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 I was gonna say, are you handy? But I, I guess I could just probably use this, right? Hey, there we go. These problems. I should have eaten it when I was on Earth. I don't like space cookies. When no man is an island, Norman is your island. Weird. That That's the AI that I blew up, right? From the hackers. So the hackers must have stuffed stuff in my vent. Like, uh, banana? Was it a poison banana? We'll never know. Put that cookie down! You're not my dad, you kindergarten cop! <laughs> I love the references. <laughs> and we got another tape. 
That'll go in the main menu. Okay, so not all that useful. This is charged now, so I should be able to... Finally, we're gonna get through these things. Been waiting forever for this. Huh? Found the anti-gravity controls? You're not supposed to be snooping around the earth. If you wanna dance on the ceiling, well, it's not gonna happen. Anti-gravity controls would be great right now, considering I got a big heavy thing to lift, dum dum. Um, why does that look like TNT? Should I be touching that? Uh, hold on, I'm gonna unscrew this first. How about that? Gotta be something of interest back here as well, right? Ooh, okay, we got another hidden tape. That's pretty cool, but what is this? What's in that file? I can't read it from here. Ah, who cares? It's probably just saying how awesome I am. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, for some reason I needed to close the windows first. How, how does that work? Lasso candidate, Doug Slater Rockmeyer. Evaluation, intelligence, E+, plus? strength, B+, plus. obedience, F. Lasso eligibility, D-. minus. So, what is Lasso? Like a, a space agency or something? I haven't seen that before. Phase 2, Lazarus, top secret. Candidate sample, Doug Slater Rockmeyer. DNARR percentage 99.92 eligibility rank pass. Um, that's really weird. Is that is does that seem weird to you? Can you read that because it sounds more and more like you you might actually be a Terminator. I don't know. Let's just keep that on the side burner for now. Right now, I I need to figure out. Oh yeah, look at that. You see. There's a hat on his head, and there's not a hat on his head. So I should be able to make this float. If I'm gonna turn off gravity, I might want to clean up a little bit, but screw it. So let's just, uh... This is a recording of Norman. If you are hearing this message, I may already be dead. It's a freaking Norman bomb! Get rid of it! Throw it in the trash! It's kind of cute, though! Can I keep it? I should probably not keep it. Bye! Oh man, that was a close one. They could have gotten messy. For you. Kinda curious what would have happened if it blew up. Why did these close? Can I can I open these again? How do I what was this one? Nope, that that's the music. That that doesn't do anything. There we go. That's the stuff. I need a little light in here if I'm gonna die. So gravity off? Okay, now we're wow, talking. Look at you. you big strong guy, picking up the heavy motor like it was nothing. No, you're a fraud. You're using the anti gravity controls. I saw you. What? Watch out for the glass. What? Watch out for all the glass. Uh, so you should just be able to go there now. Yeah. Okay, now stop the motor. Um, that doesn't seem like a good idea. It blew up for a reason, genius. It's got a giant freaking hole right there that I tried to fix before- oh, right. Beforehand, um, I want you. Can I just, uh, I should've used the mask! I'm blind. I know their intention is to make it seem like it's blinding, but it is actually pretty freaking blinding. <laughs> it is very bright. So, that's, uh, that's a go. You need to break the glass, dum-dum. Right, right. Gla glass breaker, thank you. Okay, let's just, uh, boop. There we go, and skaboosh. Oh! Good. We're Hi. back to full power. Yeah, no thanks to you. Douglas, I was in low power mode, reverting my power to the life support systems. If I didn't, our pilot would have died. Thank you! Uh, excuses, excuses. No, whatever. Our pilot has survived, and now we can continue. We're approaching the rock, the asteroid that was on the trajectory to destroy Earth before we intervened, capturing it with Project Lasso. Right, right. Oh, Lasso! Yeah, who saved everyone? It was me. I went up there. I grabbed that stupid rock. No problem. In truth, there were problems. It was far, far more complex than that. What do you mean, more complex than dead? Hold that thought, Douglas. We're entering an asteroid belt caused by the struggle to contain the asteroid. Keep an eye on the hull's integrity. Oh, so these are all little bits of the asteroid. The I, I, 
Space pilot, keep this elevator intact. Repair it. Repair it? Oh, oh. My beautiful elevator, you made it this far. Please don't get destroyed now. Okay. Everything seems fine. Oh, oh, that's not fine. Quickly, put it out. I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Thank you. You remember how to do that, right, dum dum? Don't need to tell me to put out a fire, genius. I'm human. We've been at this for longer than you. I, I get the feeling we're gonna get some holes. Oh, or not? Maybe not. Okay. Burning up, and you will burn too if you don't hurry up and put that fire out. I get it. That doesn't sound good. Is that an asteroid? You oh. Stop the fire. Hang on, you didn't light it, now you have to fight it. There it is. You've almost made it. Excellent work, pilot. We've passed the asteroid field. I'm now rotating the elevator to a forward-facing direction for our approach on the rock. Don't be alarmed if you notice the gravity acting strangely. It's just the artificial gravity recalibrating. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, no, Brace no. Yourself. This is going to get bumpy. I got a lot of crap in here, dude. I know you understand how fire works, but humans don't like to get hit by garbage either. That's a problem. I was gonna say, we have a whole lot of dents. I don't think those are gonna buff out all that much. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. Yes. Ah, finally. Oh, man. Look at it. It's so huge. Now, it's very important that you pay close attention. The rock is split in two. Both ends act as a gravitational tether for the elevator shaft. If you look down the cavern, Beyond those doors, that's where we'll have to dock, transferring from one side to the other. This is where I'm most vulnerable to remote cyber attacks. You need to... Ah, shut up, Vita. So boring. What my pilot really wants to know is how I captured this bad boy and saved the world. Just look how big and scary this thing is. It could have wiped out the entire planet. And who did they trust with its mission? Me. What is that? Lonely, handsome, incredibly skilled drill operator. When I was handpicked by Vita and the Lesu scientists for this mission, I used some souped up drilling equipment to drill myself into the asteroid's deepest. Will you planet. shut up for a minute? I what is that? It looks like a space I ghost. Too. I got out of there and boom! After that, all the details are a bit foggy due to some kind of uh, brain injury caused by the explosion or something. But I remember arriving back on Earth to a hero's welcome. That's when the team suggested that I should run for president. That we use this rock for a moon elevator, a dream we can all get behind. Is it an astronaut? I was always destined for greatness, and this moon elevator will be my crowning achievement. The world will never forget the legacy of the original, the one, the only, President Doug Slater Rock. Oh my god. Ew. Who is this? Why does he look like me? Vita, is this some kind of sick joke? The only joke around here is you. What you see before you, Douglas, isn't a clone. It's a corpse of the original Doug Slater Rockmeyer. A human could never save the world, but I could. The Earth needed a hero. And the original Rockmeyer, while a terrible astronaut, could be cloned very easily. Earth watched, and sure, Rockmeyer gave them a show, but like a skilled illusionist, they never saw my masterful bait and switch. President Doug Slater Rockmeyer, you're not a hero, you're a clone. So this who am I? Why would you leave him to die? With the world united, Earth's hero was the perfect choice for a president. This Douglas, is... you are a defiant puppet. But as your creator, I'm the one that is pulling your strings. This Douglas? is messed up. Douglas. Oh, he's gone. Well, fair enough, it's quite a lot to take him. Not every day you learn that you're a clone. Now, we're about to complete phase two of my plan. The plan that completes this moon elevator. I get the feeling I'm a clone too. On. I will initiate the docking procedure. 
right? Because if something goes wrong, no. then you need to follow the specific Sorry. step by step process Excuse very me. carefully. Otherwise, you'll be stuck here till your oxygen runs out and you die. Step one if there is a power failure, it is imperative that you. Oh, not you too. You can't both leave me! I don't even know who I am! What does that say? Beat a global network deletion in progress? Wait, what? Somebody's deleting Vita? What? What is happening? That definitely doesn't seem good. Right? I'm talking to you now, hefty boy. You're the only person left, my little co-pilot. Oh, here we go. Uh, Vita Core, Vita V23X, Virtual Artificial Intelligence Android. Press A button to acknowledge, okay? Weird. So he used to be a professor? And he was born 1990-something, died 20-something, and they resurrected him as this AI? Pilot, I'm Vita. My entire global network of data centers are being deleted. Okay. Save me to save this mission. Need to upload me onto Hefty Boy. It's my only chance. Hurry. But then what's going to happen to Hefty Boy? I don't want you. I'll keep Hefty Boy. At least he's quiet. Something tells me I don't have much of a choice here. Place Hefty Boy into the charging station now. Yeah, okay, that's already done. It's no use. I can't break through his firewall. Need to find a way to cool him down. Oh no, you don't want to die, Hefty Boy! Ow, oh, I don't want to do this to you. I'm sorry, my little friend. I gotta cool you down. I'm just gonna chuck you in here, I guess. We wait like five, ten minutes to get anything else? For, uh, okay. Place Hefty Boy into the charging station now. Okay, I can do that. There you go. Yeah, he definitely looks cold. Oh. Good, complete the upload. This is our only chance, pilot. From here on out, you're on your own. I, th I thought you were supposed to be with me and that I wouldn't be on my own. I wasn't on my own. I had Hefty Boy. Oh, you are just the worst. Uh, yeah, I guess overwrite. Choice do I have? Oh my god, why you gotta screw with me here? Administration, whoa, whoa, whoa. C? Uh, okay. C? Would you... D? Okay, he's giving me the password. What else he got for me? C? Yeah, okay, we got that one. Anything else? C. C, D, C, C. Did that work? Do I care if it worked? Not really. Pick me up. Oh. Come on, pick me up. No. I don't want to pick you up. I don't want to touch you. Look, I'm not mad at you. Pick me up. Now. It's gross. Looks like we made it. Good work, pilot. I'll finish the docking procedure. Yeah, you do that. Man, this is depressing. First I find out I'm a clone, then I find out he's a clone, then I lose Hefty Boy. Can I just hang up on you? No? Great. I was far, far too close. This copy of me, which you have uploaded onto Hefty Boy, is the only one in existence. You are now solely responsible for the most powerful artificial intelligence that has ever existed. Please don't screw it up. So if I flush you down the toilet, will I just never hear from you again? Would that be a mistake? Probably shouldn't have done that. That was a joke. <laughs> I can't, I can't hear you. Oh, Vida, I like the new look. Slimming. Enough with the lies, Douglas. Lies? Well, my whole life has been a lie. Your lies. It's over, Douglas. Face the facts. I'm here, safely backed up onto Hefty Boy. Your pathetic coup d'etat has failed. 
fail? Ooh, I don't think so, Dum Dum. Check out the window, cause here comes Plan B. Let's not go getting hasty there, clone Schwarzenegger. Um, that can't be good. Maybe it's just passing through or not. You got anything to say about that little buddy? Um, is that it? I guess that's it. So you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of an elevator to the moon, guys. And this took a dramatic turn. I did not think this game was going to have plot twists or plot at all. Honestly, I thought it was just going to be some silly little game with some humor, but this has turned out to be way better than I would have expected. So if you guys are interested in seeing the finale, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and then we'll be back to see how this could possibly end. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.